95% of Northern Ireland's primary energy requirement is met by fossil fuels and imports. For a cleaner, more secure, locally produced alternative, bioenergy is emerging. There's plenty of innovation within the region, with companies developing new biofuels, treatments, crops and uses for them. We grow willow. It's a 25-year crop. You get about 10 to 12 dry tonnes of chip from it every year for fuel. Now we take that chip and we dry it and take it down to below 20% moisture and we grade it, um, so make it as homogenised as possible. We put biomass boilers in and we sell those to government sites, to swimming pools, to nursing homes, to hotels. From our point of view, we are the market leaders in, 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 on the island of Ireland and in the UK. And consequently, we get visits from all over uh, America and Europe. And we have probably been the only ones outside of Sweden that have commercialised it in Europe. Um, and that's why we get those visits and that's why we get the opportunities. Because we have a perfect environment for growing crops, uh, for, for growing trees, woods, um, you have a look at, uh, at willow and coppicing, the potential for Northern Ireland to meet its energy needs from, from biomass is huge. And that's where we're looking to exploit, where we will take crops that are grown locally, uh, grass silage and maize silage, and then through a process of anaerobic digestion, they'll be digested into methane to generate heat and, and electricity. In 2005, Balkassen and Eskillen became the first biomass facility in the world to produce a wood pellet biofuel. And they are now experiencing positive knock-on effects, with businesses around them adapting to the developing needs of customers. We have uh, a number of uh, very well um, equipped installers who can supply boilers for a whole range of customers from small houses to large customers. There are electricians who understand the, the specific requirements of the feed mechanisms. Um, there's us as a fuel supplier. And what happens is you, is you develop the infrastructure all around that. So for instance, there's now companies building the storage units to store pellets. There's a nice cluster industry developing here. And we have more and more large scale customers coming on as well. So from my point of view, I believe Northern Ireland um, within the UK is probably the most advanced region. Queen's University in Belfast is home to Europe's only industry university cooperative research centre. With over 20 member companies, the Questor Centre provides world-class environmental research programmes focused to each member's or organisation's specific needs. One specialism is anaerobic digestion. It's a very mature technology, but it's in its infancy in Northern Ireland. And because we have a blank canvas, we have an opportunity, an opportunity to bring in the best available technology in the world and implement some very innovative, very new treatment technologies that are world class in their operation. So we can become a showcase for this particular technology. And there's a lot of interest here from companies who not only want to bring in best available technology, but they want to um, undertake continuous improvement. So they're very research active and innovative. Another key resource in biomass development is the Agri-Food and Biosciences Institute, a leading provider of scientific research and services to government, non-governmental and commercial organisations. In AFBE we've got uh, scientific uh, expertise in the areas of agricultural production and the analysis of materials. So in terms of taking renewable energy into the field and actually how do we plant willows, how do we plant miscanthus, how do we manage these crops, how do we maximise the production, what sort of land is suitable. We have economists who can model the farming business elements and identify how renewable energy enterprises would fit into farming systems. So our whole programme of research here is to, is to give scientific knowledge but also confidence to the market to demonstrate uh, a scheme that, that can put it all together and work effectively. Invest Northern Ireland have brought industry, academia and public bodies together. As well as developing that relationship, they encourage growth and new commercial entry projects in the bioenergy market. 
We see the sustainable energy sector as having significant opportunities in Northern Ireland, both in terms of the growth of existing business space, but also in terms of attracting new investment. We can offer business a range of support, both in terms of startup support in Northern Ireland, research and development support, and support to enter new marketplaces. We have the right skills base, um, we have a very competitive cost structure, we have good infrastructure within the universities. We we'll work with businesses closely to ensure that they have the right property and also they develop the right linkages.